Okay, here, so here's something amazing. Um, there's a lot of people that just love to get me to do birthday wishes, right? So, and there's a lot of them, uh, and I generally do them. Um, my problem is that this mind here is really full. Really full all the time with like, hey, what do I got to do next? What do I got to do next? So, about a month ago, a young man, Mr. Thacker, I hope I pronounced that correctly because he is Canadian. He says, hey, one lonely farmer, do you think that you could give my dad, a longtime loyal subscriber of yours, a happy birthday wish? He's going to be 70 years old. I was like, yeah, sure. I said, but, you know, it's like, when is it? And he says, well, he says, I think it's on, what did he say? If today's the 14th. It was yesterday, the 13th. And uh, he's like, oh. It would be the 13th. It has to be because I just found the message this morning saying, hey, I can't get any messages through to you. And they all kind of popped up. And they're like, I can't get any messages through to you, but tomorrow's the big day. My dad's going to be 70. Eric Thacker is going to be 70 years old. And at 70 years old, we know that life is a little more difficult than it was when we were 20. Um, we still have the heart of a 15-year-old and uh, we just... You know, maybe can't leap and bound over buildings and uh, be Superman like we think we are. And we pay for it for a lot longer. And the reason I know that is because my dad is 73 as well. And he has uh, just now decided that it's time to go out into the world and see the beautiful things that he should have possibly done when he was a little younger. But, you know, due to circumstances, couldn't. So if you are 70, Mr. Eric Thacker, and happy birthday to you. I mean, really happy birthday. 70 is a milestone anymore. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that... You know, they, they think they're going to be live till they're 90, get to 69, and <laughs> drop over dead. But you've done it, man. You're at 70 years old. So Eric Thacker of Canada, who's out planting, I'm sure he's planting. Uh, I was told that he's a farmer, and uh, he does plant. I was planting yesterday on your birthday. It was the first day of planting. So I would just like to wish you a very happy, very belated by one day birthday, 70 years old. And I hope it was a wonderful day. I hope it was a productive day. And I hope all your family was there to share that wonderful milestone with you. So anyway, again, I'm sorry my brain is full of crap and I missed it by a day, but today is just as good as any. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber and hap, hap, happy birthday to you. to get this bugger moving again uh, the one thing I I learned over last year is that the population that I put in the ground was 35,600 plants to the acre because this is a 46 47 year old corn planter this thing is almost as old as I am I was born in 1972 this thing was born in like 73 74 is one of the first ones and the reason I know that it's one of the first ones is because of the, the sprockets. These sprockets here are the 20, uh, 20, what are they, 2040s, 2040 chains. And they only did that for the first couple of years and then they changed them to the, the regular 40 or, or 50, they're 50, 2050s. Um, they did that only the first couple of years. So that transmission, I can update that transmission to a new one, but uh, I just have no desire to do that at this time because it works perfectly. I, I don't understand why they would have changed it, but it is what it is. 
Uh, let me get back here. I got a phone call. So anyways, that, that, those sprockets were what they used early on. I don't know why, but it, that's what they are. And obviously it worked very well for many, many years. Um, I went to the, the seed chart and you don't want much slack in these, but you do need some slack in them. Uh, I went to the seed chart and I wanted to up the population because I was getting double ears on the, uh, on those a lot of the stalks not you know probably about 15 percent uh double ears which is not in my experience does not add more it actually just takes it away so the best thing to do in a situation like that is to actually uh increase the number of seeds to the acre so that'll take and remove about an eighth of an inch of space between the kernels from uh five and seven eighths down to five and a half inches apart which is where i want them to be five and a half inches apart is thirty seven thousand seven hundred or close enough to thirty eight thousand plant population which this particular variety will actually go from they want you at a minimum of 36 and as much as 42,000 plant population with a 30 inch row. So I thought 42 was excessive uh, for my soil and I've got the fertilizer there. Everything is out there that needs to grow this crop in. I just really want to have it set up to do what I want it to do, not, you know, I want it to produce. Um, you know, and that's just the way it is. Got my seed firmers. I just got to go over and grease the whole entire thing. And I'm going to put the sweet corn in the ground first. So we get the sweet corn out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and plant the, uh, uh, start planting a little bit later today. I've got a roller harrow that should be on the, in the field running right now. I don't know if it is or not, but it should be. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a good start. Just get it going. I did have an issue with, uh, one of these boxes here uh, which one was it was it this one or was it this one I think it was this one it was starting to break out it was breaking out at the base there just a little bit well here I think I could see inside right nope not that one nope not that one maybe it was this one no where the hell is that one it was broken so I fiberglassed it what? where in the hell was that I don't know maybe here well, <laughs> I'm going to look until I find it now because it's starting to annoy me. There, right there, right down there in the corner, which is common for these, you know. Uh, I had seed toppers on one corn planter I had years ago, and that caused more damage than ever. Uh, what I would really enjoy doing is actually getting the, the larger planter boxes if I continue growing corn with this particular uh, corn planter. Yeah, we're gonna get in the tractor here pretty soon because we got work to do, but I do have to fill those tanks with water. I need ballast. Yeah, I need ballast and I, it, I'm just gonna put water in them, that's all. And I've got water in a tank over there, so I'll just fill them up right quick with water and life will be good. Um, yeah, so that I have enough weight to get this planter on the ground and the seed firmed in the way it's supposed to. I do have some new Keaton seed firmers if there is a problem with any of them. I got brand new ones. Those things are in good shape, so. Ah, uh, there you go. Anyways, let me get greasing and then I'll shut up. Right, Will? Bumper. Right, Will. Just say right, Will. Bumper. Yeah, right, Daddy. I gotta clean up my tool. William, you wanna plant corn? Hey, you gonna plant corn? Hey, say, can I plant corn? corn? You're gonna be a good boy, right? Give me a hug. This is the beginning of corn plant 2021. So, I just planted my sweet corn just a little bit ago. I did not even use the GPS for it. Quite honestly, there's no need to use GPS for it. There's a few seeds down in there yet. No big deal. I did that as my uh, is it going to work kind of a thing. And so far, it works so far. So you can see there's a little bit of sweet corn in there. I'm not going to worry about that little bit of seed. If it finds its way into the, into, uh-oh, that one didn't plant. Why did that one not plant? Well, I can see it didn't plant. You know why? Because 
Timothy didn't do what he was supposed to do. But that's okay, you know why? Because now I can walk down the row. Ah, I can walk down the rows at the farm, but I'm gonna have to dump that sweet corn out. So let me get rid of that. Timothy all I want. The fact of the matter is, I'm the guy that's running the machine and I should have looked. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. So that was locked in. This box is kind of beat up. I did just do a little bit of a repair there. I should have repaired that, but it'll be okay because it's not really bad. Um, another one that's good. All the seed is out. I'm happy about that. It's a good thing I didn't start planting without checking that, you know? <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, there's the seed. I just said to hell with it. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of, what did he do with that? Okay, hey, where's my scooper? Where's my scoop? I'm gonna put some of this stuff in the bottom, okay? Now, I don't know if anybody's ever used this stuff. It's a manufactured for Gromark, seven pounds of stuff. Uh, ammonical nitrogen, so in other words, it's ammonium nitrate. <laughs> ammonium nitrate, manganese, zinc from monomonium phosphate, manganese sulfate, zinc sulfate, and zinc oxide. 2.0% water soluble manganese, 1% ammonical, ammoniacal nitrogen. Talc and graphite replacement expedi expedites drying on seed. I am not putting water with this. I, you know what, little boy? What do you think, your muscle man? Look at this guy, Rawr. Yeah, you're a dinosaur. So anyways, enough of that crap. Let me uh, put this in, let me put this seed corn in these boxes and I will show you how I'd apply that. This little rat. I don't know if the chisel plow would do anything better for that over there or what. Probably will. When Grant gets there, I want you to start on the left of the driveway where you chisel plowed it. Okay. And we'll get Grant. Make sure he checks the fuel and the oil on that thing. Oh, I got this way. That airplane coming in. He's in a seatbelt, right? Yeah, why? Well, he can get out of it. I'm just worried he's just gonna hit the pan. He can, he's not heavy enough. Little bits of grass down there. Oh. Well, that's my little guy I'm using right there. Just one of these cheap case Trimble Okay, so I got my battery charged up, as you can see this wire here. Um, I really dislike GoPros. I, I can say that every stinking video and just say, I hate GoPros. Uh, I don't hate them. I think the quality of the filming is good. The sound quality is not so great, which I get a lot of complaints about, but yeah, well, that's just too damn bad. Anyway, um, we're planting, as you can see behind me, maybe you can see back there. Uh, we're planting right along. I'm setting an AB line. Uh, if you don't know what that is, well, I'll tell you. AB line is the line 
that you set from point A to point B and then you follow, oh Jesus, then you just kind of follow what you're doing here now. I am doing this by hand, obviously. Uh, you can see my speed. I picked up the speed a little bit. Precision planting uh, says that I can run this thing at eight miles an hour. Um, eight miles an hour at the planting, uh, yeah, at the uh, population that I am planting. So I'm running at six. They said that it still spits the seeds out just fine at eight mile an hour. I'm only going to run six. This AB line is going to be, a, it just is going to cause a lot of overlap because these fields have bows in them. Right, William? This is my helper so far. He's planted every acre that I've done, and uh, we've done all of that so far today. Uh, it's at the breakneck speed of six, 5.96 miles per hour. So I just keep that thing as close as I can to the center. Uh, I don't have the auto steer option on this. Somebody told me that I could buy the wire that that Trimble unit will hook up to this tractor, but um, I don't know. I haven't been able to locate that yet. And, uh, you know, not that it matters. I like Crooked Rose personally. You know why I like Crooked Rose? Because it gets people talking about me, you know, and uh, people love to talk about me. I mean, I'm just like Donald Trump, you know, they just love to talk about me spread rumors and shit that I do things that I don't really do and you know that's just the way it is uh, and I said a curse word so they're probably gonna ban the channel uh, but anyway uh, I just want to slow down on rocks there's a lot of rocks in this field now uh, this was the old pasture where my grandfather pastured his cows and uh, if you don't know I am planting 30 inch rows as you can see back there I'm gonna go ahead and stick the uh, camera on there in different angles so you get that millennial farmer look. I do have a tire that is low in air. 